Hello everyone, welcome to back my channel. I hope everyone is having a wonderful day. Before starting the video, please go ahead and hit the subscribe button. Sharon is still reeling from the death and dumping of Heather Stevens, but a pit stop at Cassie's gravesite put everything into perspective for her, or did it? Rather than confess, as the promo for next week would have us believe, Sharon's surely about to put a cover-up into effect. But Young and Restless has another twist in store that will blow it sky-high as something horrific comes to light. In the immediate aftermath of Heather's death, Sharon began to cover her tracks by removing the body from the apartment, cleaning up the evidence, removing Stephen's personal items, and getting rid of the body. She followed that up with a graveside chat with her late daughter Cassie, which ended on a note that might have led viewers to believe that she was going to do the right thing and confess. Indeed, the young and restless promo for the coming week shows Sharon telling Nick and Mariah, that's why I confessed. But we know a red herring when we see one. Why do we think that? There's also a clip of Daniel looking at something he's holding in his hand and then telling Lucy her mother isn't coming back. Let's do the math. Daniel's either looking at a note or a phone, which means he's read something that indicates Heather is gone. But he's not reacting as though to a death, and the way he relays the information to Lucy is not gentle but blunt. One can only conclude that Sharon has somehow made it look as though Heather decided to leave her family and skip town. We didn't see Sharon pause to write a note, and we know she didn't return to the scene so it must be a text sent from Heather's phone. There's your cover-up, and we're sure it will work for a time. Daniel is bound to be bewildered, given that he and Heather had made up and were in constant contact up to the point where he and Lucy left the club. But he'll have no choice but to accept it at face value in the moment. But the situation will soon get dicey. Daniel is quickly going to realize that Heather doing a mad dash out of Geno City right after a promising job interview, and after having affirmed to him that they were on the same page personally, simply doesn't make any sense. Of course, he'll have no recourse right away. Heather's an adult, and it's not like he can report her missing due to a hunch or a bad feeling. As it turns out, Daniel won't be left twisting in the wind for long. A young and restless spoiler for midweek may confirm his suspicions, in the worst possible way. The teaser in question indicates that Daniel will get devastating news, which can only mean that Heather's body will be pulled from the chilly Wisconsin River and her fate will be revealed to her family. This horrific reveal, of course, will blow Sharon's cover-up move right, erm, out of the water. Yes, the situation is going to go downhill fast for the troubled blonde. While Heather may have sent a text, which could lead Daniel to consider that she did so before committing suicide, the evidence will soon prove otherwise. Heather could not have wrapped herself up in a blanket. This, along with the wound on the back of her head and her missing personal items, will launch a full-scale murder investigation. It's a good thing Chance was headed back on the job. Or maybe it's not a good thing if you're Sharon. Then again, it might be good to have your ex-boyfriend heading things up. It's gonna be a wild ride.